offering a cure, I assume you're thinking we get it early or sometimes, yeah. I mean, I mean for, for for HCV, it's yeah, it, it's literally to prevent you can, you can prevent the ability for the virus to replicate. If you can't replicate a virus, then you have an infection. So I think I can take like one more, and then people are going to kick me out. Uh, have you come across anything in uh, your research and all that? Um, RNA is used for other functions. I'm thinking specifically in biofilm formation or in farm sensing. Um, I will admit that um, bacteriology of any kind is really, really outside my uh, my research. I'm a, hum I'm a human geneticist, so um, I know about this much about we're just, we're just starting to get into that for what I do. So, okay. Um, and I will admit I know nothing of it, so it's I will I will tell you very this. interesting. Um, bacteria tend not to make non-coding RNAs um, because their genomes are really really small, and there are no non-coding there really are no non-coding elements in the bacterial genome. So my biofilm would that be what you're talking about with uh, non-coding RNAs that create the stasis around the cancer? Uh, no, no, no. That's no. Totally different. Okay. We're, we're looking more at like glue because we're trying to figure out how these things form. So is, are they using DNA or RNA to kind of right. glue themselves onto like a surface or something? But we don't I'm know. I'm like to be RNA. Is RNA super unstable? Pardon? I'm like to be RNA. Is RNA is very unstable. Sure. So it could be DNA. But we, we don't know. So we're just, we're kind of looking at everything right now. Just, well, thank you guys for coming out. I really... Thank you.